Hello and welcome to Shredder Zoo. Last week we looked at the very famous huge carnivore Tyrannosaurus rex. This week we're taking a look at another carnivore that rivals and may even exceed the rex in size. First I need to take a moment to talk about the pronunciation of this dinosaur's name. During my research for this video I discovered that I and everyone else I know have been pronouncing it wrong for years. There are a few ways people have been pronouncing it. Gigantosaurus is one way, this is wrong. Gigantosaurus is actually the name given to an English sauropod species. The most common way I've heard it pronounced, and indeed the way I've been pronouncing it, is Giganotosaurus. But this is wrong. The real way to pronounce this animal's name is Giganotosaurus. This I can confirm is correct, and to prove it, here is a video clip of Rodolfo Coria, the man who named Giganotosaurus in 1995. Choosing a name for the dinosaurs is like bringing a new baby to the world. A big baby. Giganotosaurus means giant reptile from the south. The Giganotosaurus is known from very few remains. One specimen found by amateur fossil hunter Ruben Carolini in 1993 is about 70% complete. The only other Giganotosaurus remains that have been found are partial jaw fragments. What was immediately apparent from these fossils was the size of the animal. Although the remains are incomplete, which makes estimates of the total size difficult and potentially unreliable, it has been estimated to be between 12 to 13 metres long. An analysis of the fragmentary jaw fossil indicates it could grow even larger. This made headlines around the world for the simple fact that this size estimate would, at the time, have made the Giganotosaurus the world's largest carnivorous dinosaur. Here in Ark Survival Evolved, the Giganotosaurus is huge. It's much bigger than the Tyrannosaurus and the Spinosaurus. In reality, it's only slightly larger than the Tyrannosaurus, and some scientists believe the size estimates to be too big and propose it to be around the same size or perhaps slightly smaller than the Rex. And of course, current thinking has the Spinosaurus bigger than both of them. With the constant comparison to the Tyrannosaurus Rex and numerous online debates about who is the king of the dinosaurs, you may be mistaken by thinking that the Giganotosaurus is a close relative of the Tyrannosaurs. In fact, the Giganotosaurus belongs to the family of dinosaurs called the Carcharodontosauridae, which places them closer to the Allosaurs, although still fairly distantly related. The Giganotosaurus has the largest skull of all known theropods and has attachment points for powerful biting muscles. Although its bite would have been much weaker than the Tyrannosaurus, looking at its teeth gives us a clue why. As we found out last week, Tyrannosaurus has the most powerful bite of any land-based predator ever known. It has large, conical teeth, perfect for crushing bone. But the teeth of the Giganotosaurus are different. They were flattened and serrated, perfect for slicing flesh. This has led to some speculation about the Giganotosaurus feeding habits. Living at the same time and in the same area of Argentina where Gignotosaurus lived was the largest dinosaur ever known, the Argentinosaurus, a huge titanosaur. The bones of this dinosaur would be too large for even Gignotosaurus to easily get its mouth around, so instead Gignotosaurus adapted to leave the bones and concentrate on just the softer tissue. A series of withering bites could in theory be applied to the legs and underside by just raking its teeth across the flesh then all Gignotosaurus would have to do is wait for either blood loss or infection to finish the job. It's also possible that Gignotosaurus targeted the leg muscle to try and sever a tendon, cutting the muscle free from the bone. This would cripple a large titanosaur, so it had absolutely no chance of escape. Despite the huge size of Gignotosaurus, one individual would struggle to take on an adult Argentinosaurus. It probably focused on juveniles or the old and the sick. Another theory is that these huge predators may have hunted in packs. Not too far away from where the remains of the Giganotosaurus were found, a bone bed of seven individuals of a very closely related dinosaur was found. These fossils belong to another Carcharodontosauridae species, Maposaurus. When the bone bed was excavated between 1997 and 2001, only the remains of Maposaurus were found. And these individuals were all different ages. The scientists who studied the find suggested that although this could be due to a long-term co or coincidental accumulation of carcasses, the presence of different growth stages of the same taxon indicated the aggregation was not coincidental. 
In a 2006 National Geographic article, Coria stated that the bone bed was probably the result of a catastrophic event and that the presence of mainly medium-sized individuals with very few young or old is normal for animals that form packs. Therefore, Coria said, large theropods may have hunted in groups, which would be advantageous when hunting gigantic sauropods. Well, that's all I have for you this week. Thank you very much for watching. As always, I hope you've enjoyed the video and you've learned something new. If you did, please let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. Well, I hope you join me next week here at Shredder Zoo when we'll be looking at the Pelovia. So until then, goodbye.